Uh, why? <laughs> I don't feel like talking about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I really don't. That's how much interest in Nicki Minaj we have. Zilch. Zero. Nobody cares. But the few people who keeps asking me, did Nicki Minaj get the girl fired? Like, did she fire, get her fired? I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> Did Nicki Minaj get this girl fired? Okay, let's, let's entertain that for a notion right quick. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, because you have a life and don't really care, apparently uh, an internet blogger had an altercation with Nicki Minaj. She posted a comment about Nikki saying that um, that this girl uh, was making a statement about how Nikki was. And she called Karen Civil on her, apparently. She pointed out that Nikki was over 40 and she needs to make more content that was more, you know, appropriate to, you know, instead of doing the things she's been doing. So Nikki wrote something saying on the lines of how dare you, you must have never heard my songs I've done. So she put it in her DM and saying, you must have never heard my songs I did. Have you heard the Pink Print album? Have you heard this song? Have you heard that song? So you're just a hater. And my gosh, I am 35. I haven't put out an album since I was 31. So, you know, all this, I'm pushing 40. You just hate. You just hate and jealous because I'm intelligent. I'm rich. I'm famous. I'm pretty. And, oh. Uh, how dare you put up a trend daddy inside, you know? She was just going in on the DM. So the girl was fired. I guess she found out the girl, like, works as an assistant for Karen Civil. And she says, I no longer work for Karen Civil, but still I rise. Until I find a way to combat all of the hate sent my way, my account will remain private. I can't and won't respect anyone who uses their platform to allow supporters to bully, harass individuals over music opinion. Also, I can't and won't respect someone who uses their huge platform to insult someone personally over a music opinion. Um, this doesn't surprise me to hear this because we've always heard and seen things that she's done behind the scenes i have been a target others have been a target she's more concerned about bloggers mixing up her message or twisting things around and it's bothering her and she wants it stopped and by all means necessary she's going to do everything in her power to stop it because she's Nicki Minaj, and that's what she does. Now, someone says that this was fake news, and uh, blah, blah, blah. I really don't know. I really don't care. This information came from the blogs. So, I could care absolutely less. But the girl posted it herself detailing everything that was going on and you know, that happens and I really just have zero concern about any of this but I stated my personal feelings about this a long time ago so my personal feelings is that I think she's, her 
agenda for her album is another way. When she's talking about this feature she got with Alicia Keys and all this stuff, I think she was doing something one way and now she's trying to pivot into something else. And when she gave that speech about how, she, you know, she feels partially responsible and she was like for, you know, girls on the internet flaunting their bodies the way they are, you know, he, she was like, I think they, you know, took her message out of like what she was trying to say and like being sexually aggressive. She was like, I think I, you know, she took some part of responsibility for it. You know, just saying, you know, we got to be more careful with how we deliver our message, even if it's sexual independence. She was just saying, I'm just like, be proud of yourself, you know, just not just be, go out there and be a slut or anything like that. But this wave that's on the inter Instagram and all that stuff. Whatever that was, you know, this whole wave thing she got going or this movement. But I'm like, at that, while she's making that speech, the artwork comes out for the album and she's butt naked on a branch talking about Queen. And I'm like, okay, um, <laughs> this is confusing. Figuring what, you know, you were just talking about in the interview. Now you're doing this. Like, what is your message? We are very confused now. You over here getting splinters in your butt on the doggone branch. Talking about, you know, women got to respect themselves. <laughs> I'm a, we're, we're a bit confused. You know, so. Um, So on that note, I mean, let's end this stupidity. I'm out.